Well, Amrabati United efforts stepped up. Those are the transfer efforts. That's what we're discussing today here on to the United Matters channel this afternoon. And we're talking about Fred, you know, agreeing personal terms with Galatasaray. And obviously the president had to fly to Manchester to really negotiate this deal so it really comes to pass. We are going to talk about how much United want from Fred and how much Galatasaray is willing to pay for the Brazilian that looks like his era has come to an end at Manchester United. And lastly, Scott McTominay is another one again in the news. David Moyes doing the needful to it that really gets in to see to it that really gets him out of Manchester United and sign him at West Ham United. So let's see this video, collect close to 300 likes and uh, also don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 15,000 subscribers before the end of this month. That is the month of July. Now, Sofian Amra, but is a deal that we expect to happen this month or by the end of this summer transfer window. And obviously, Talk Sport went ahead and obviously put up a tweet yesterday that read, Manchester United have stepped up efforts to sell freight to help fund a more for Sofian Amrabat. United actively encouraging talks with Gratasarai for Fred. Fulham also retain an interest, but a move to Turkey is also more likely. That's why they told us that Manchester United have stepped up their efforts to sell Fred to help fund move for Sofian Amrabat. So, we all know that <laughs> United are only left with money to finance the deal of Rasmus Hoyland. That is it. Now, the money they're supposed to get is supposed to come from sales to see that they really accomplish the deal of Sofian Amra. But so far as it stands, they've gone ahead to collect close to they've gone ahead to collect close to 23 million pounds from the sale of uh Anthony Elanga. There is um Zidane Iqbo, Ethan Hayard, uh Alex Telles, and the resale of Chongi from Birmingham to Luton Town. Now, they are having a very huge sell to sit it that they do it to get in Sofian Amrapa to come in at Manchester United. And we all know that Ten Hag is an admirer of Sofian Amrapa, but he loves the player and he wants him at Manchester United. But Italian reports obviously telling us that it's close, and that's why they never obviously included Sofian Amrapa into the team of Unity that travel to Belgrade to sit to it that prepare themselves for the preseason of the upcoming season of 2023-2024 in the Italian Serie A and maybe in the UEFA Europa League. So, when you look at all what is being put out, it shows that the deal is closed. <laughs> the deal is closed. Personal terms have gone ahead to be agreed between Manchester United and Sofian Amrabat. Even contact has been made on the side of Fiorentina by Manchester United because if that contact was not made, then they would have found themselves in a very good position to obviously take Sofian Amrabat onto their preseason in Belgrade. And they also want the replacement of Sofian Amrabat. And they're looking, I think they're getting in Athamelo to really join him up. So to see to that, they really get this deal over the line. But we have two great board journalists coming in from Fabrizio Romano and um, David Austin of The Athletic. They've gone ahead and obviously told us some information that might not really sound as music to ears to many of the United fans. David Austin says on Amrabat, it's one that United are looking at. Amrabat is aware of that. I don't think it has moved to the degree some reports suggest. I'm not aware that a deal is nearly done or agreed. It is one that could be acted upon on if there are departures. That is it. So. He's telling us the same thing as Fabrizio Romano. Even Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead to let us know, to let us know that there is still nothing concrete regarding Sofian Amra, but despite the rumors, still no further, still no offer to Fiorentina. His side have spoken with United and he's on the list, but United to sell players. The current priority is the goal scorer. We all know that the current priority is the goal scorer and we don't say no to that, but trust me, there is a move that United is doing to convince to convince Sofian Amra but to come to Manchester United and person terms of gonna have to get agreed. Though it sounds really 
really not okay to really go ahead and obviously trust other people in here. To trust these stories, but Alfredo Pedula, uh, <coughs> Gazeta del Esporto, have been so much have been so much accurate on the stories of these transfers. I remember the transfer of uh, Andrew Onana to Manchester United. Alfredo Pedula was ahead of Fabrizio Romano. He was ahead of David Austin, and he went ahead to obviously drop these stories fast that is um that is alfredo Pedula and gazate del esporto so to me it's not going to come here and get shock me or shock me as far as this is concerned because i really understand that however much fabricio romano and david austin are really not agreeing with what is with the reports coming in from italy the fact is this deal is closed it's closed and the, it's the easiest that united is gonna do because it has little money involved in it only 25 million pounds those are 30 million euros that is it so to me i don't really think that this deal is not progressing the deal is going to have to progress and the results <coughs> are evident united want to sign sofia and amrabat and uh, if you're having fred leaving and scott mctomini may be leaving Sofian Amrabat is an upgrade. To me, he's a Tyler made player for the Premier League. His size, his height, and him being press resistant is really one of those that you obviously go ahead and obviously put up high in the sky. And obviously, notably, he is still young to the years of age. He can come in through and obviously get this deal over the line. And United are going to do this deal because Kobe Menu got an injury. The only way United would have gone ahead to relax on doing a deal of Sofian Amrabat is if at all Sofian is if at all Kobe Menu played very well in the game of Real Madrid as he has been playing in the game of Leeds, Lyon and Arsenal and then he kept himself fit but in just six minutes Kobe Menu found himself injured and walked out on stitches. <laughs> that is the guy. So to me it's obviously Sofian Amrabat and that has gone ahead to act as a boost for United to go in for Sofian Amrabat because Kobe Menu found himself injured and the injury looks like it's serious because we saw him in a protective boat and he was in clutches. So we wait for the report and see what is going to happen and how early this player is going to return as soon as possible. Now, the player that is supposed to be really to be really sold to finance the deal of Sofian Amrabat, though United has some 23 million pounds with them is Fred and reports from Turkey have confirmed to us that Fred has agreed personal terms with Galatasaray and that is Dal Bokazaid obviously one of the hugest reporters coming in from Turkey and I remember him being one of those breaking stories as United was going in to sign Wout Veghorst on loan so after that Ryan Taylor Sport has told us that Gratasaray Vice President has flown to England this evening in a bid to push through the signing of Fred. Manchester United are demanding £20 million. And to demand £20 million for Fred is right. That is it because teams in Saudi Arabia are even willing to offer 30 <laughs> That's what I told you that I was so much happy when I saw to it that Saudi Arabian teams joined. Right? Um this other team also joined what its name um fulham so fred has been attracted to two or three more clubs that brings united into a very confident position to obviously issue what we call the price they want it has always been 20 25 million pounds newcastle wanted to offer 15 plus 5 million pounds of add-ons United want 20 and Galatasaray made the first bid of 4 to 5 million euros has been rejected. They've gone ahead to prepare another bid of 10 million euros. I don't think United are going to accept this bid because it's really below the belt for United and they really believe that is an embarrassment and humiliation for a player 
who is still having a lot in his tank to offer for the club of Galatasaray. So the president, the vice president is going to head to fly to Manchester United and they're going to hold talks with the board of Manchester United on how much this deal is because after agreeing personal terms, that means the player would have gone ahead to give them green light to obviously get him to obviously get into what we call the to get into what we call talks club on club basis to get this deal over the line so we wait and see how this deal really goes ahead but it's so much important that fred also got sold if at all you can get like 20 million pounds from fred that will have taken our selling tally to 52 so to 42 million pounds and if at all you add on other sales that means we can obviously hit 150 as i believe the sale of this player that we're going to talk about next that is scott mctominy can gather close to 30 or 40 million pounds and obviously ex West Ham employee these this is a very good source <coughs> bring us exclusive news coming in from West Ham. they told us that West Ham are eager to bring scott mctominy to the club the Scottish, the Scotland International is highly rated by David Moyes and the boss has made it clear he, will, <coughs> he wants his fellow Scotsman. There is currently a huge gap in valuation but the club hope Man United soften their stance. So what's the stance of Manchester United for Scott McTominay? The stance is obviously 40 million pounds. <coughs> West Ham, <coughs> West Ham, West Ham are offering 30 million pounds that means there is a gap in valuation of <clears throat> 10 million pounds and trust me no team is going to obviously go ahead and obviously feel for western because western have gone ahead to got in some good, good amount of money from the sale of declan rice they got in 105 million pounds so if you are buying a replacement of declan rice and scott mcdomey is available and you can really get 40 for that amount of money then it's better and i was so much shocked that instead of bidding for scott mctominy first and getting them and getting him in because he can play as a cdm they first went ahead and obviously bid for corner garag at chelsea 40 million pounds bid was turned down and i think they are not willing to go back so i think all their attention is now on scott mctominy but scott mctominy can be sold for 40 but if at all you need can get 30 for scott mctominy i think that will be okay because that midfield duo would have gone ahead to offer us 50 million pounds in sales. If you get 20 from Fred, 30 for Scott McTominay, 50 million pounds, that will be a very huge amount of money brought in. If I add in the already 20, 23 million pounds in the club of Manchester United, that will be 70 million pounds. Now, if you sell Fred, if you sell Scott Harry Maguire for 40, that is 110. You continue to sell Dean Henderson, you can get like 20. 130 million pounds brandon williams 140 so that really takes us to a different level altogether of manchester united and getting in the best that we deserve as a club of manchester united meaning that we can end up this transfer window even getting in other players that's why i've always told you that keep an eye on the transfer of hurricane to manchester united because if sales go on well as planned then united can find themselves in a position of obviously even making a bid for hurricane of 80 million pounds so guys your thoughts on to amrabat to united efforts stepped up i welcome in the comment section below what do you make about fred united wanting 20 and it looks like gatasarai are between 8 and 10 million pounds scott mctominy would you let him go to west ham yes or no so i sign out for now see you later first video of the day and more is yet to come juma karim to the muslim viewers and subscribers ciao ciao